let us discuss one more special injury that is the retroperitoneal hematoma retroperitoneal hematoma when we talk about the concept of retroperitoneal hematoma the first thing that you should be knowing is what are the zones involved what are the zones actually involved so when we talk about the zones what are the zones that we have let us try to see there are three different zones that we have what are the zones let us see them let us see them okay so we have flanks we have pelvis we have central zone if you see this is the central zone this is the central zone what zone is this these are the flanks these are the flanks and then what zone is this this zone is the pelvis now try to understand what is the content of what zone zone 1 is the central zone zone 2 is the zone of flanks zone 3 is the pelvis so zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 1 when we talk about what is this this is the aorta and this is the vena cava remember the great vessels are present in the zone 1 and if you talk to me what is the extent of zone 1 what is the extent of zone 1 let us see this the zone 1 extends from midline up to the medial border of kidney and ureter so up to the medial border of kidney and ureter there so important thing that we all should know what is the extent so important is the extent of fulen zone the extent of fulen zone is so zone 1 zone 1 the extent is up to medial up to medial border of kidney plus ureter what ureter abdominal ureter zone 2 contains your kidney and ureter zone 3 contains your pelvic organs yes bladder and the pelvic part of ureter also now this zone based concept is known as fulens zone fulens zone students there was a rumor of zone 4 which people sometimes might refer as the retrohepatic vena cava zone so retrohepatic vena cava zone was some by by some people referred as this fulens zone but it is not right it is not uh, at all right so there is no such nomenclature of retrohepatic uh, you can say ivc being zone 4 next is let us try to understand how the things present and how we manage on one side let us write the zones so zones zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3 zone 1 zone 2 and zone 3 and on one side we will write the injury either it would be penetrating injury or it would be a blunt trauma either a penetrating or a blunt trauma let us try to understand one very important concept if it is penetrating injury of zone 1 you like it or you don't like it the question is of your great vessels remember every surgery done with an intention to save life is always justifiable and therefore the management that you are going to do is always surgery penetrating injury to zone 2 it's again a question of kidney and ureter surgery and same is the case with pelvis so always remember the moral of story is any injury any injury penetrating into the retroperitoneum yes it is known as it will be known it uh, the management will always be what surgery 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 irrespective of the zones now what about the blunt trauma now what about the blunt trauma if it is a case of blunt trauma then how to manage again this is a question of your great vessels always you have to explore so surgery so the moral of story is 
any injury any injury of any type to zone 1 be it blunt be it penetrating the management is always 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 surgery when we talk about zone 2 it is observation more than surgery and for zone 3 it is observation always why it is observation always because we have something which is known as retroperitoneal tamponade effect why try to understand this is again a very simple and straightforward concept this is a retroperitoneum and retroperitoneum is a small cavity retroperitoneum is a small cavity suppose this organ starts to bleed there will be a time when this complete cavity will be full of blood and when this cavity is full of blood now you don't have any further scope of bleeding the only scope you have is there will be increase in the pressure and why this increase in pressure this is retroperitoneal cavity why because this cavity is completely full of blood so you must have studied this in the uh, physics that is the pascal's law the pascal's law states that inside a closed container the pressure p is equally applied everywhere and therefore this pressure p will be applied over this area also yes and thus what will happen this is going to act like a self tamponade is that clear self tamponade i still remember i was a uh, second year resident and we had a patient with left sided trauma with splenic injury so i was doing a splenectomy that time the patient was referred from some district hospital there they have done a ct it was saying grade 3 uh, you can say renal trauma with some retroperitoneal hematoma so when i was doing that surgery i said my uh, requested my resident uh, uh, sr sir why don't we explore the why don't we explore the retroperitoneum also yes sir why don't we explore the retroperitoneum because if we, if it is all required to operate on kidney we can do it right now he said okay go for that so i did the metox and when we entered there was 1 liter of blood and you know i was really feeling happy that day ki okay now i become all of a sudden i become a good surgeon a big surgeon the best surgeon no one was even thinking it was me who brought this into the light otherwise everyone would have missed and then i saw that kidneys were not bleeding but in front of me within 5 within 5 4 5 minutes the kidney started to ooze and the the blood was collecting i thought my assistant who was my friend only who was feeling envy or jealous he has brushed up the kidney and we had a exchange you know verbal, verbal, verbal altercation was there in the ot itself then i did place a mop there and waited for 5 minutes nothing was there the moment i removed the mop for 1 minute it was okay and again the oozing was started do you know what has happened actually the tamponade which was there by the retroperitoneal hematoma has now been removed now only two options either i put a mop and stand there for 15 days in the ot or i do an nephrectomy for unfortunately we had to do an nephrectomy inside me i still remember i still know that i could have saved the kidney of that patient and that is why ignorance is the worst words most you can say the worst enemy that you can have so try to understand that day if i would have known that there is something which is known as retroperitoneal tamponade do you know this retroperitoneal tamponade effect is sufficient to manage majority of the injuries i would have not done this error again is that clear or no you know i know everyone knows that how this tamponade occurs yes this is this is the abdomen this is the abdomen and you know this is the transverse colon descending colon and in between and in between them we have we have some peritoneal attachments can you see this these are known as white line of torts yes or no so white line of tort or the peritoneal folds are present everywhere this is the stomach that we have and then second part and the third part of duodenum and you see that the retro this is gastrocolic so you should know that peritoneal cavity is totally separated from the retroperitoneal cavity if you want to go on the right side of the retroperitoneum like if you want to do hemicolectomy you have to do a cattle brash maneuver this is a cattle brash maneuver 
so we have a cattle brash maneuver on this side if we do it the very same thing this is known as a what this is known as a matox maneuver so we have a matox what are they actually they are mobilization of the peritoneal folds so mobilization of peritoneal folds of the peritoneal folds on the left on the left that is matox so left medial visceral rotation is matox right medial visceral rotation is a cattle brash and of course everyone knows that this mobilization of the duodenum yes this is what is known as cockerization so cockerization there are three important things that you should be knowing everyone should be knowing about these maneuvers also so we have to understand the importance of this retroperitoneal tamponade effect or we will always 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 miss our patients